aiming. Mm -hmm. Galio plus Gwen equals disaster all the time. Yeah, we'll see if it's gonna be the Galio. I also am thinking about the Alistar as a possible pickup here for KT Rooster. Why good for me gains as well as uh, good uh, support that will also be mm -hmm. something that Sivir can synergize with. But with the Nautilus being left open, as you mentioned, Galio has been banned by Wu Gaming. Nautilus is also a good option here. It also serves the same uh, the same role. Has good engage. <laughs> this is a classic. They pick this up. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna be seeing okay. uh, Zero attempt to use the champion that Wake Up tried to use against Keep Best Gaming. Yeah. Okay. With the Leona pick, I do like the Leona being picked here because oh. it also adds to the engage. But if the Morgana gets locked in, it's such a good counter play right now for the side of KT Roaster. Why? It's only the Gwen who has the magic damage so far. You can't take away the Black Shield if you don't if you don't use magic damage to take it away with the Morgana being picked that negates a lot of the possible potential for engage in the bot side as well the small probably that Morgana is gonna be going into the dragon lane along with Orn. this is a massive adjustment coming in from both of these teams this is what this is exactly the reason why I just love the competitiveness of our teams right now, right? We see mm -hmm. the uh, mid adjustments towards the draft. Morgana gets picked up, Fiora gets picked up. This Zeri is going to be protected all the time. Camille as well can be protected. The Fiora as well. This one proper timing on the Black Shield can be great, especially with the Soul Shackles 2 in the Dark Finding. KT has to be ready, but they are loaded as well with so much crowd control and late game scaling. Yeah, uh, I love the Zaya pick. I was thinking about they need they they need two extreme things uh, for their the, for to finish their compositions. Either a very tanky, annoying champion, which is Garen, or a very <laughs> front loaded damage AOE champion. Which could have been Doriana, but the thing is, it's hard for Doriana to really form up here because there is the Camille, there is the Fiora. It's hard for her to have the sing, uh, to have a reliable target for the ball. So Zaya being picked their last gives so much more damage for them that even though there is a black shield, there's still one thing that it's gonna. There's still one form of CC that the Morgana can't prevent, and that is death. If they just have so much damage, they can just burst through anyone and kill them outright that the black shield might not even matter let's see if this is gonna be enough man crazy apple we are yeah. about to see a great nasir between these two talented teams let's see which one will get the victor again katie rosa is already match point here in this game woohoo gaming they have invested a lot in an attempt to push this to game number three let's see this is gonna be worth it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if the double marksman composition right now for KT Rolls are wide. Amount of damage as well as the gamble that they put up of having the Hecarim being picked by KT Rolls are wide will be worth it for Woohoo Gaming. While for Woohoo Gaming, they do have a bit of less. Uh, they do have less damage on their hands if KT Rolls are wide is able to put them in an awkward position early to early to mid game. It might just tilt the favor to KT Rolls. Oh, ignite already used. Yo, this is a close one. Rocky still is able to withstand the damage here of Rattel. Has a vital right in front of him, but will not pursue this time around. Bottom lane, though, we're seeing another fight. Yeah. Man, both of these squads are not giving an inch towards each other. Just continue to apply pressure. As it, as it's as if oh. game number one hasn't ended yet. Yeah, uh, that is what we've saw, we've seen when it comes to the Morgana bot lane. But before that, okay, earlier, Luna was our MVP. Also picked the Vladimir, as we mentioned, has been bad. Did so much damage on that pick in our game one. But going back to the bot lane, we usually see these level ones going in the favor of the comp of the dual lane that has the marksman because Morgana's so weak at level one and doesn't have the access to two of her abilities yet, and she can be very well punished. And I'm glad mm -hmm. to see the KT Roser Y bot lane taking full advantage of that. Oh, up lane. Yeah, that's one way to just give respect. But this time, Doll is just gonna be punishing Rappel. Getting the snip snip will secure first blood for KT Roser Y. Yeah, and that all started with the early early advantage that Rattel had at the top side and then Do starting on the blue side jungle of the enemy team it's it's just Whoa. right now all of the early game going in favor here for KT Roser as we head into this replay it's just stock standard ganks from Do I don't even think Rocky 
uh, I think Rocky still had his flash. I just chose not to use it because he knows very well that he's gonna go down. Oh yeah, it's great decision making, great timing as well by Kate Rosser. Why this time around, Kerryman's gonna be going here towards the blue side jungle of Do. Let's see if it's gonna be effective. Zero spots the map, but will not pursue as well. Just giving respect, giving vision. Information is key here for this game as well. And KT will be fine with this exchange for now. Yeah, it's just vertical jungling right now for both of these teams. Zero was just uh, watching, making sure that they finished the, the blue buff. Maybe even cheering them on from the side uh, as they were seeing <laughs> away the buff of their team. But Rotel, very low here against Rocky. Yeah, still can withstand. Sure. Especially because of the snip snip, you have to be very, very cautious all the time. Yeah. Uh, it's it's too scary to go up with the Gwen this time around, and especially after giving a kill already. Doss also in the vicinity will be spotting out Rocky. Also, the challenge is going to be used Ooh. immediately, will be picked up again by Rattel. Yeah, a uh, great immediate use of the onset of shadows right there because there was only you can only repose one ability. I think the Fiora was banking on that. The onset of shadows was going to use a bit later, but it wasn't able to pop the repose. So the two CCs was able to be hit, and then just that was a clean gank right now. Raquel, talk about him on the Gwen needs to put on a carry performance, and now Katie Rose Y is giving him that opportunity. Oh yeah, every opportunity for Ratel to just get the early game going, scale much faster, and later on impact the game. And just be all independent. Everything is now being banked on the Italian. It's the best possible person to be in invested on. Call of Forge Guard gonna be used. Sani popping out the ult though is still fine. But it's gonna be CC'd up. Hexacute Beat gonna be used onto him as well to try and pit him down. Charge as well gonna be invested on him too. But it's not enough to take him down. Now the punish is gonna be there. This, the uh, kills coming through. KT rolls are why. Acrobat getting two already. Boomerang did not connect, but the. Oh man, it's a disaster for Woohoo Gaming! It's just everything that KT is getting right now. 5-0! 5-0! Yeah, 5-0, yeah, top side though. 1v1 beer. Grand challenge gonna be used. Ratel should be giving so much respect. It's gonna be propped up, but it's not gonna be enough to take him down. Look at the confidence of Ratel! He doesn't back off, he doesn't! Yeah, does it back off? Knows that Daw was in the vicinity, but going back to what happened there in the mid lane and in the river, KT Roser Y taking so many advantages, but wake up! Oh no. He's in a lot of trouble, will be picked off. That was too much overextension and a great timing by Carryman as well. Yeah, Luna falling down right there, unfortunate. Uh, in a bit of a greedy spot, I would say, with how the map was at that time. But nevertheless, KT Rolls Y did a lot of good decisions earlier on, was able to accrue now a 2.4k advantage. That one kill going in favor of Woohoo Gaming is something that they're able to pick up because of a, I would say, a bit of a greedy positioning coming from the bot, uh, coming from the mid laner of KT Rolls Y. Now we're reaching the five minute mark. There's a clear advantage right now for KT Rolls Y. They might have enough strength to get both of the, uh, both of these objectives. Let's see. I mean, this is a massive ad advantage already by Kate Rolls or Y. 3,000. A while ago it was 4,000, but it was shipped down a little bit here by Woohoo Gaming. This time they are engaging on to wake up. He's in a lot of trouble. Also, that is going to be this way him up as well and picks up the kill. Execute the meter a little bit late, but here comes Kerryman as well. Just going in alongside with Sani, dealing the damage, getting the trades here for Woohoo Gaming. Yeah. Woohoo Gaming picking. A great fight for them, able to get 2 for 1, but Rocky again being chased on by Rotel. Be fine, at least buying some time through the blast cone. Rotel still committing on the chase. Has the honey fruit as well. Great repose to deal, dish out the damage or just prevent it. Luna this time around will survive with one Ooh. Three, and they get the second kill as well for Acrobat. This is just insane mechanics coming in from KT Rolls or Y outplaying Woohoo Gaming right now and will have the leverage here for the Repel to be taken and can just go towards the Dragon too. Yeah, and Woohoo Gaming at the start before this, this disaster has just been compounding for them. Woohoo Gaming was able to stop, to at least stop the bleeding for a bit. But KT Rolls or Y not stopping. Always in front of Woohoo Gaming, as you mentioned, the prowess, the micro, the micro plays coming from KT Roser, giving them the kills at the top side, securing the Herald as well, getting the first tier turret as well in the mid lane. But the dragon being started here by Woohoo Gaming, KT Roser forming up. 
KT can still contest, Solar Flare has been invested, the steel is not gonna come through and Carry Man will just run away. Yeah, Wu Gaming with a clean take on the Dragon. They weren't contested as much by KT Rolls for why? Because they took too much damage while taking the Herald, but now Rocky is all alone here. So remember, KT Rolls are in bot side. Rocky is still fine. Dodge just cleared up the Krugs there off Carry Man. And a while ago it was 3,000, look at the gold now, 5.6 thousand by KT Rolls for Y at 7 minutes. Yeah, KT Rolls for Y is looking to pad their stats, looking to get one more win here against another CN Conference team on Woohoo Gaming. If they're able to complete it, they will be able to put themselves in a better spot when it comes to the APAC Conference standings. So far, KT Rolls for Y. Just playing it a bit more safer. They know they do have the lead. They don't need to force as much against Wuhu Gaming. Unless Wuhu Gaming makes a mistake, Carry Man might be in a bad position, but Zero was spotted out there. So it's just going to be the tower here at the top side in favor of KT Rolls Y. Nothing too fancy this time around by KT Rolls Y. They know they have the leverage, especially in terms of the scaling. And Wuhu Gaming is also fully aware of that. They have been making a bit of a mistake and fully just punished here by KT Rolls Y. Now with the Dragon, I think they can just bank on the late game still. If they are going to be able to pick up the soul, it's going to be great for them. Solar Flare used, but Rocky will not be engaged by Rattel. It's a great sign of respect still by KT. Yeah, Rattel has just been such a rock right now. Uh, has been very solid for KT Roaster Y. Has been going toe-to-toe -to -toe against Rocky. Has been getting so much attention. And he was been given this... Uh, he's been given essentially by Do. To be able to be in this spot. And yeah, let's not forget about Do. On the bot side. There are three members of Wu Gaming here. Ratel is not is not uh forcing anything the bot side, just playing very safe. Maybe sniffing mm -hmm. out that there are three members of Wu Gaming there. Yeah. They they, they are so great at spotting out Wuhu Gaming in their position. They know that they are gonna be attempting to shut down Ratel. And it's oh. not gonna be allowed at all on sort of shadow gonna be here on the sand, forcing out the flash. They call her well timed towards Rocky. KT will just disengage, just continuously applying the pressure. And look at the response as well by Rattel. Since they know that they are now on top side, just continues on the push. <laughs> just the split push duties of every Baron laner. They very much well know how to do this, how it feels to be left here all alone with a tower. But oh! going on Rocky. Grand challenge. Gonna be, de uh, gonna be denied here by Rattel. Able to hug the tower or at least hug the terrain. Rocky still is alive. I think that's better for Woohoo Gaming. Yeah, that's a bit better for Woohoo Gaming, but do remember that he went to the top side and then recalled and went back to bot. That is essentially now he needs to recall back because he's so low while Rattel didn't even recall. Right now he's still moving on the lane. There is a chance that Rocky still had to recall. Actually, he just did. So, in terms of the momentum, in terms of the push here on bot side, it's definitely in favor of Katie Rolls or Y. <laughs> I love how he was spamming the recall. Uh, while moving towards, he will be spotted oh. out, especially by the meteor engine. Call of the Force guy is gonna be used as well, able to use the mist to dodge out it, but it's not gonna be enough. It shouldn't be. The ignite is there to just deny the healing from the Gwen. What will be the answer here of KT Rolls or Why? They are moving towards the bottom lane. We see Zero, we see Luna, we see Acrobat sprinting their way, has the ult as well. And this time, it's time for them to answer back. Solar Flare gonna be a great charge coming in here from Wake Up. The carry man is taking a bit of damage here. Pedestorm gonna be already the damage is coming through towards this Camille. Still able to walk out. Ooh. The Ignite is gonna be taken, especially because of the damage there of the Ricochet. Yeah. One for one trade, you take one from us, we'll take one from you. Yeah, and Wu Gaming I overstayed their welcome in the bot side. KT Rolls are popping on the hunt to go down there. But Don Zero still looking for a fight right here. This is a 3v4 if KT Rolls are Y does want to start this. But does it seem like these two teams are just backing off. And going to this replay right here, we are going to start in the fight in the bot side. And look how close this 3v3 was for both of these teams. Although Wu Gaming was falling back. Look at how close the Camille. Yeah, just the ricochet. And then the last tick of the Ignite was enough for uh, for for the Leona for Zero to be able to, to get the kill. That was how close it was. Now 8,000 gold lead. At least the breath there is used. But KT 8,000 now is starting the dragon. We'll be denying the very thing we talked about earlier. Wu Gaming needed the soul for them to have the at least be on par. On KT Rolls or Y on the scaling department, but now it's denied as well. This Mountain Dragon is gonna help the be more tanky. Same as for Rattel. Zero as well. They have so much frontline. That's essentially gonna be used. Able to still use the charge to walk away. That's a lot of shield coming in from Zero to, to just 
be durable and sustain himself from the damage. And you don't simply kill a Leona. Leonas are just really tanky at this point. Botside again attracting so much attention from both of these teams. Wuo Gaming was looking at the Zaya. We did see the grand challenge was on top of, of the Zaya right there on Luna. So it might have been uh, something that Wuo Gaming was looking for. Maybe trying to get a kill right there. But it didn't happen. And right now Wuo Gaming is still trying to figure out a way to be able to to get to to take back the lead or maybe at least to stem the bleeding at this point kt rosa is just a is a just a commanding position right now kt taking control woohoo gaming trying to answer back zero gonna be spotting out wake up able to still use the charge and kt just continuously applying pressure around the map ratel is going towards the bottom lane it's gonna be fine being you know, interrupted a bit by the Fiora of Rocky. He knows that he can win against him already, especially because of the lead that he has, especially because of the kills that he has gotten already the entire game. And right now, this could be a fight right here, though. Bit Great over charge! Execute the item. They are going to be dishing out the damage here on the doll! And Flash infested by Acrobat just to walk away. Moving speed as well. Everything to escape, but it's not enough. Two kills picked up by Wuhu Gaming. Maybe they can actually start the parry already, but Ron is getting chased out. Flash in by Zero. Great denied with the parry. And Zero is just going to be walking away for now. Yeah, that was a that was a weird overextension coming from KT Roser. Why? Daw stayed too too long in that in, in that tight corner i thought he was gonna run away but instead he just tried to look to push back someone and with the jungler down right on katie rose or why woo gaming is starting the baron solar player Ooh, gonna Sani? be playing as well they are gonna be committing here onto the fight as soon as just finishing from the backside trying to take down wake up zero though it's gonna be traded out and not able to get the kill onto the orange numbers advantage now present here for woo, woo gaming they are able to get the scuttle crap as well just establishing vision on this top side river and kt now it's slowly falling off. Woohoo Gaming get the, getting the better end of the fight so far. Yeah, the, the past couple of fights have really been in favor of Woohoo Gaming. KT Roser Y has had some questionable decisions, but the last one we're in, they were able to catch Sani with the Leona ultimate. Could have been a pick for KT Roser Y, but unfortunately, Ratel used his ult previously when they were trying to take down, uh, to take down the Fiora. So. It wasn't available, no other forms of damage in the longer range was un was available for KT Rosa at that moment, so they weren't able to finish up a pick on Sani. But fortunately for them, they were still able to stop the Baron, which is the next big point of contention here on the map. Baron Vision is going to be super important for both of these teams, while KT Rosa Y looking for an engage against Wu Gaming. Are they going to pursue? Looks like they're not. KT still getting in position for this Baron. Wu Gaming knows this as well. You spot them on the war that they have placed a while ago, especially with this scuttle trap they have secured a while ago as well. Ratel continuing on the push in the bottom lane might signal a Baron takedown now. By Ooh. Wuhu Gaming, they know that they can just drive this down fast. Zero's yeah. in the vicinity, Rocky just having they don't know. great responsibility to prevent any end to this. Then it's gonna be taken. Baron is taken also a little bit late there, but still they are gonna be continuing on the fight. They have disappear to just free hit. But Rock is taking too much attention here of Kate and also why great feather storm coming through from Luna still able to survive. Start finding not gonna be connecting onto him. KT is fine, but the Baron for Woohoo Gaming. Yeah, the bar Baron was snuck right there by Woo Gaming and I, I don't know. Katie Rose Y had an inkling that it was being started by Wuhu Gaming, but I didn't. But I think they didn't. Either they didn't think it would be that fast, or that Wuhu Gaming would full commit into getting the bar. But nevertheless, Katie Rose Y was slow into getting into that position and now baron is on the favor of woohoo gaming there's still four members of them that have the buff while the dragon is spawning to the map this might be the ver the next point of contention for both of these teams as woohoo gaming and kt rolls are already in the vicinity they want this they want the scaling they want to fully capitalize onto this moment carry man is gonna be able to get the steal and woohoo gaming just gonna be walking away carry man though is going to be the cost of this Dragon stolen by Woohoo Gaming KT. You are starting to give some leverage here towards Woohoo Gaming. Wake up! So is in a bad position. It's still tanky. We'll be able to walk away. Yeah, but this is such a great mid game to late game right now coming from Woohoo Gaming. This was a 7 to 8k gold lead at some point, and now it's down to 2k. Oh, oh no! Charge into the corner of the board. Charge Rocky is well going to be having the backlight access towards Zero. Trying to walk away, but it's not allowed to be able to escape. Daw, the only one last remaining member here of Kateros or Y. 
in Woohoo Gaming. Just gonna be running it down mid. Rattel is still in the vicinity, but what can you do? Against four members of Woohoo Gaming right now, he goes back to the base, maybe in an attempt to stop the push. But this is it. The most important part here of this game. So is trying to clear up the wave. Rattel is gonna be here as well. Onto the stairs is gonna be here. Onto the front line, still able to clear up the wave. That's the main goal here of Kate Rose or Y. But they are taking too much damage! Sani blasting in, unable to get killed. Sani is still able to stay alive. Woohoo Gaming. Is happy with what's happening right now, and KT doesn't love it at all. KT, that was such a massive mistake on their end. The the Baron, yeah, that was a big mistake. But the biggest mistake that they were that that happened was the two marksmen couple were were, were together. We're just side by side, and the Ord caught them so fast with the ultimate rock. So we can cut out the top side. Still fine. Has the grand challenge. We'll be walking away. But yeah, like what you mentioned, it was a great timing by Wu Gaming to punish the position mistake there of Kater also why. Yeah. Kerryman as well had a great access towards the back line. Especially, this is the Camille. Yeah, it's Camille. And the Fiora was able to wrap around for the flank. KT Roser is losing the plot right now. They were supposed to be able to win this game earlier because they had the huge gold lead. And Wu Gaming is, has already come already come back the gold is even and katie rosa must be scratching their heads oh. and things out what has happened what have we done why are we in this position we should be the ones who are sieging right now into their nexus and now they're going to be sieging on to katie rosa why actually make them still not use zero still tanking in the front line though as well able to just deal the damage here towards them okay i find it connects onto the zaya carry man still holding the door here and katie rosa why is taking too much damage from Pan, look at that first strike, just sliding onto them as well, giving him so much gold. The Elder Giant is now going to be available, Kroc is going to be here as well, Rotal spots him out. Woo Gaming has the better end here, especially with their HP still intact. Yeah, that was the Hail Mary from KT Rose Why wow. they needed to win that fight to be able to get the position here in Elder Jake, but now Woo Gaming is starting the Elder Jake. And they are starting. To feel the it's almost done here of Kater Alter Y. The steel is not gonna come through, and Wu Game is there to strike. Yeah, the Elder Dragon defense the damage here on the Kater Alter Y. Acrobat is still free here, thing still able to deal the damage. The is gonna be taken away. Now, Golden Forge Kaya is knocking onto the faces here of Kater Alter Y. They have been deprived the entire game, but now they will flourish and push this to a game number three. Yeah, Wu Gaming is just about to, clear, to complete. The comeback right here. Five members still alive. They're about to take down the Nexus. And this is why you should never, ever disrespect Woo Gaming. Because this is exactly what would have happened. And they do it against Gate Tiddles or Y. <sighs> the turnaround. That was such a great turnaround from Woohoo Gaming. It was. Uh, they were able to capitalize on some mistakes. They, were, they took risky bets.